By the end of this video, you are going to not only better understand male psychology, but understand why he's doing the stupid shit he's doing. We're talking about your guy, your situation. You can uh, uh, put this into practice or you can put this into your situation and be like, yeah, I see that. So here's the first thing I want to say. A lot of you believe, and I understand because of how men are, trust me, I have clients every day who come to me with problems about men and the bullshit they play, but a lot of women believe today in the hookup culture, modern dating, that a lot of men do not want relationships, and that is absolutely not true. A majority of men, meaning more than 50%, probably 70, 80% of men as of right now, have no problem getting into a relationship. Here's the hard truth. If he's telling you he doesn't, it's probably because he doesn't want one with you. That's just that's just how it is, okay? That's just how it is. And uh, the reason I want to start off saying that is if you're talking to a guy who you have been on more than six to eight dates with and he's saying that kind of stuff, you're wasting your time. You're using hope as the fuel to... Um, to hopefully stick around and ignite something and he realizes out of nowhere that he was stupid. Stop. You're wasting your time. I'd rather you go to a plan B and have a guy miss you and regret his decision and you're leveling up and he's watching. You can still be cordial with the guy. You can still have him on social media. I mean, if you can emotionally take it and you can have him look at your shit, have him see what he missed out on. He's not going to miss out on it if you're sitting there and trying to negotiate with yourself on what this is and he's just reaping the benefits. Which kind of leads me to the second thing I wanted to talk about, which is a guy is going to reap the benefits from all these women until the right one comes around. The male dating strategy is, I want a relationship. This is why I say guys want relationships, because if the right woman comes along, he's all about committing to her, but he's going to have fun in the meantime. So that basically puts you in one of two categories, ladies. It puts you in, hey... He, I'm his main chick. I'm the one that he wants a relationship with. And you know this because after eight dates, he will commit to you. And if he doesn't, then you're one of these girls. You're one of these girls over here who are probably hopeful, who are, who are, who are, who are you know, talking to him and going along the journey, hoping something will change when most of the time it won't. If you're at eight dates and you're not in a relationship or he says something along the lines of that, he's not looking for one and you're talking to him, hoping that that will change. It's not. Ladies, you have to understand that the male mind goes towards advantages, okay? And a man who says, I don't want a relationship, or a man who says, or not even says, his actions say um, that we're not in a relationship. Again, six to eight days and you're still not in one. You have to understand logically what he's doing. You need to understand that, okay, well, men like advantages, and he wants to put himself in the best uh, position possible to gain these advantages, to increase uh, you know, access to the assets while limiting the liabilities. And when you're a man who likes a woman, but you don't want a relationship with her, well, what does that look like? It looks like the situation you're in right effing now, where he's convincing you to stick around or maybe you're convincing yourself with all the hope and stuff and he's not so so he's getting access to the assets but he's not paying the liabilities of a relationship and men know this if a man does not want a relationship with you he's not going to get into one because a relationship is a lifestyle i'm not saying it's not a beautiful thing it is and a lot of men agree it is Despite all the stuff you see online, a lot of men like want relationships trust me even these red pill dudes they do I've been there, heard it, heard it all. They do. Um, but a relationship is a lifestyle. It takes a lot of sacrifice, a lot of responsibility. You're caring for someone else's concern, their, their, their emotions, their whatever it is, their, their well-being more than just your own. Your decisions are based on two people. They automatically take time slots. Like, bro, you, you got to see your girl a couple times a week. That's just what it is. And of course, if he wants to be with you, that's no problem. But if he's not sure what he wants, then, you know, but he still wants the access or the access to the assets. Well, that's not always the case. He doesn't want to make those sacrifices. Right. So he feels like, well, if I don't want to make those sacrifices, but I still want I want all this over here, um, he's going to try to convince you to stay. 
Which leads me to another thing, which is context. A lot of women want to know why guys are showing so much interest in the beginning and then pulling away. Why guys are so lovey-dovey and all this crazy stuff that they're like, well, this is a little weird. This is a little fast, but I guess I'll go along with it. And then all of a sudden, he, he acts completely different. It's because of context. Ladies, a lot of the times when a guy's talking to you, and then he pulls away, he actually does like you. And it was probably genuine in the beginning. It was probably genuine everything he said, um, but in the beginning, there is no context created, meaning there is no, uh, um, you know, layering of, of you, whatever, the, of seriousness. You know, this is before you guys are hooking up. This is before it's really consistent. Or even then, none of the, like, it, it, it's these things layering on top of each other. So in the beginning, it's just two people who like each other and they have assets they want from each other, okay? The liabilities aren't there yet. The context, the picture painted is not there yet. But when you start hooking up, texting a lot, is frequent, you're consistent, let's say you're going on multiple dates, four, five, six, seven, eight dates, whatever it is, you're meeting maybe someone, friends or family, maybe you go on a trip, you stay over, like all this kind of stuff, you're just not some basic girl on Tinder anymore. There's some substance there. There's some substance. And once that's created, now a guy has to make a decision because he feels like, okay, well, I, I, I kind of feel obligated to give her something because I know she's not just hit, sitting around, you know, wanting me to reap the benefits. She's obviously wanting a relationship out of it. And he feels like he has to give you one. And if he's not ready for one, that's where he freaks out. He gets his own head and he pulls away. So what I'm trying to get at, ladies, is if you're talking to a dude and he does not want the same thing as you, right? And you need to establish this date one, even before the first date. If it's online, you need to not only have it in your profile, you need to say it when you're messaging each other. You're not, you're not scaring men away. This is called filtering. It's crazy. So many women come to me and say, I don't want to say this. I don't want to freak them out. No, it's filtering. It's called filtering. Chill out, ladies. But you need to figure out what a man's looking for because if you don't establish that frame and you're building towards something, you, it could be anything. It could be anything. It could be friends of benefits, casualness, stuff like that, because you did not have the discussion. I'm not saying, say, I want to be your girlfriend. No. But you do need to say, hey, I'm looking for something serious and I don't want to waste my time. Whatever. Okay? And if he agrees to this frame, well, now you guys are at least on the same page for the most part. Yes, he could be lying, but it is a good start. Um, so with that being said, ladies, if this is important to you and you want to read more about the male mind and why we do the shit we do, click this link right here or this next video. I talk about why guys do all this stupid shit if you want more detail on it or if you want to check out my guide, link is down in the description, 285 pages on how the male mind works and building attraction. Ladies, I love you. Take care and peace.